hi there yesterday I was watching catching up on some YouTube videos I've been we've been away for nearly two weeks on the mainland catching up with the, the ankle biters and the family um, which was absolutely gorgeous but we on the um, we've got good uh, download speeds here and being away and on hotel um, networks and things it just drove us mad trying to watch non-urgent um, or download non-urgent things so and we didn't have a lot of time either there was too much fun and hilarity going on to be watching YouTube videos so I was watching a I'm quite determined to finish this little album that I started you might remember these from another video this was the tutorial by uh, Patricia Viramontes making her pockets and inserts for, for albums and things using up um, paper um, book paper book pages so I've got all of those and I was I want to follow the same theme but I also took um, quite a few of the little Instax photos my daughter lent me her Instax printer so I've got a few of those that just to they're not brilliant they don't the colors not brilliant you know the white uh, the definition the contrast whatever it is um, isn't great but they're just little prompts and reminders so I had some of those that I want to put in the journal and I saw a video by Anna Powell on YouTube and she's it's got a good tutorial there on making a photo wallet and this is the item or similar to the one that she made about the same this is the same size as hers I just like to make the version that's on offer um, up front and then I can look at altering it if I if I need to um, this one is obviously too big you could put them on but it's a bit of a waste and the album is going to be smaller anyway so I thought I'd make one to match the Instax that was my initial thought but this little folder is quite neat it's got um, quarter inch spines and it's got a good size pocket here for journaling magnet underneath magnet in the top there and it's got six spots for photos on each of these two side pieces that simply concertina in so plenty of room plus there's all that space in the middle you could put a larger photo or um, journaling whatever you want and it would be a great little one if you wanted to share some photos with somebody I think um, Donna or oh, Anna sorry suggests that you could you know cut a photo in half if you had a larger photo a, a, a six by four sort of thing you could cut it in half and put it there or you can use three by fours and just put one on each side um, it would be a good a great way to share photos perhaps you've taken at a, a family outing or something and you want to give somebody a copy of them it would be a neat little one but I thought it would also be a great little one to include in an album um, you could do it this way too there's sort of a top and bottom fold waterfall type thing you could use it that way if you wanted so that was the, the prototype that was following Anna's good tutorial and I'll put her link below so you can see that. I did a little bit of measuring of the, the Instax photo and this is the ver version I came up with. As you can see it's considerably smaller. It's probably you know, a third to a half a size less, probably a third. Um, this one isn't finished of course because I'm going to finish it off with book pages and as these are um, it won't have as much stitching but I'll try and include a little bit even if it's just um, to finish it off the only difference apart from the size that I've made on this one is I have a pocket here but it's a little wide at the moment I'll just trim a little off the top so it's not quite so big um, that covers up those magnets and I think I'll put a similar device there because I don't like the way 
And this one you can sort of see, oh, you probably can't. You might, yes, there. You can see the shadow of the magnet underneath. And not that it's tremendously important, it just annoys me. You can always put something on the top. And perhaps that's what I should have done. I should have put the magnet on the top because you can always put an embellishment over it and hide it. And then this underside would be virtually smooth. But even though these are quite strong little magnets, there's quite a bit of matting and quite a bit of weight of paper in this device. So for that reason, I added two to this one. So it is um, going to be far more robust and tight. But quite pleased with it. Once it's finished, I'll, um, I'll show you it. But do go and have a look at Anna's tutorial if you're interested. It's uh, She does a good tu plain tutorial there to, to follow along. And um, here we are. Here's the little um, photo wallet. Fully matted and completed. It is opens up like so. I've used music paper, I've used um, book pages and I've varied them up a bit. I didn't want it all to look the same. Um, some are whiter, some are creamer, but I've done both sides the same so we only need to have one open. There's a, um, some Dutch on that one, music paper, some Asian script. This is page from my old school French Shakespeare uh, more music and again the Dutch pages so that's the little noodle folder all it needs now is for the Instax photos to be put on here um, little pocket here for some journaling if I want to or some extra photos if I have any left over that don't fit and with the two magnets it's really sturdily shut it's you can hear it clacking these are the magnets that I had before you can see I think they were six mil the little tiny ones on the end um, these slightly large ones which I think are eight mil arrived yesterday so I was able to use the larger ones and I think I said in the original tutorial by Anna she used the one in the middle but I've put the two because it's going to be fairly chunky by the time the photos are in there. The Instax photos are not thin, they've got some dimension to them. So I felt that would just hold it um, a little flatter. So that's good to go. That's all finished. That's another little item for my book. Oh, I'll just mention when I did these, matting these pages, thought, I thought fortunately thought to... Um, check my little Inca stitch rectangle dies and the third largest fitted it perfectly so that saved me measuring and cutting time and I was just able to pull out the pages and get them cut out and adhered very quickly so that's that this is my project box I like to use I've got a couple of these that I used to use in the freezer. I don't use them anymore. I really buy pastry. Um, I make it myself or I go without. But um, when I used to buy frozen pastry, when the children were around, were making more pies and things, I had a couple of these in the cupboard and I found they're just perfect little project boxes. So I've re repurposed them. What I also made when I was fiddling, um, were two of these because I had this little library pocket die which I think was a paper to ink one and it's quite a small one but it does hold a journaling card um, so I made two of those and this is the same die the little stitched little inkers die with file card on the back and double sided book paper on the front and they fit in there just perfectly so I was quite pleased to that's why I pulled out this little one. I thought that might fit. So, and it does. So I've just made some extra flowers and put those on there. And the same with this one. It, um, I need to just, one of the little flaps has come out at the top. So I need to just adhere that down. What I also do when I'm, um, rather than throw away the edges of the 
the leftover glued pages. Um, I cut them out um, if they're big enough. I use for larger flowers or leaves, um, but generally speaking, they're quite small. So I might get some of these little leafy pieces, the paper tray ink ones, or I've got quite a lot of these little. Um, I think that's a stamping up um, flower punch. And so I just cut out round the edges and some of these are quite plain but I thought with a with a little um, dot on them they'd make quite nice little pull tags, two together, one on each side of the um, pull. So I might use those in the fold. I'll just leave them in there in case. If I don't use them I'll just pop them into my embellishment box for a further, a further project. So that's it for now.